Welcome to DIY Spooky Decor. This week's creation is a faux taxidermy insect look inspired by a post that I saw off of Pinterest. For the shadow boxes, I'll be using these ones that I got from the Dollar Tree. These two on the left came with these little pegs inside. I do like them and I will be using them to raise up the insects, but they are not center, so I'm just gonna pull them off really quick and um, glue them back on and we'll be painting it all black. And since we're gonna be using the back as the front on these boxes, we're gonna go ahead and remove the sticker. Now I have heard horror stories about Dollar Tree stickers and how they do not wanna come off. This was kind of one of them. It's not a huge deal, because like I said, we will be painting over it, but look at that one. It just comes off so smoothly. Celebrate the little victories, guys. All right, and then we're gonna remove these as well, since again, this is gonna be the front side. I just used my scissors to pop them off. And then when I flip them over, you'll see here, I got these from the Easter decor at Dollar Tree. Now I just used a tape measure to draw a line across so I had an idea of where I was gonna hammer in my hook. And then I used a nail in place of an awl to create the holes so that it was easier to hammer the hook into the front of that frame because it did not want to go in by itself. I had to force it. We will be doing the same to the bunny. Real quick here, I accidentally got some red paint on the bunny by its mouth and I think it's the cutest thing. I kind of regret painting it black, but there you go. A little happy bloody Easter bunny for you. I'll let you in on a little secret. I did hammer those hooks in too far and I had to pry them back out a little bit so they weren't sticking through the other side as much, but you can't really tell. Now we get to paint it black, yay! Yeah, you could use the backgrounds that are already in the boxes. I think that would be really pretty. It's just not what I was going for. I did paint the Easter boxes all black as well, including the backside, just because I like my projects to look as finished as possible. But you don't have to paint it if no one's going to see it, I guess. Now for the creepy crawlies and they are magically spray painted black. I uh, only had a black gloss spray paint on me and I just needed something on them as a primer so that my paint would stick better. I went in with this copper metallic paint that I am loving and I did paint all four insects in this color. Originally, I wanted to make each insect a little unique, so for the beetle, I went in and dry brushed some green paint. I do really love the way that this green looks over the copper. And for the grasshopper, I started out with blue. I ended up mixing purple in there as well. I was trying to push myself out of my comfort zone and use some colors that I normally wouldn't use. I did go in and paint the eyes of all the insects red and went in with some black dry brushing just so it wasn't as prominent. Uh, however, when they're hanging up, you can't really see the eyes anyway. And for the spider and the fly, I did black dry brushing on both of those. I made sure just to go kind of heavy where the head and the body meet and where the legs meet the body. And for the fly, I did dry brush the wings with the metallic copper, leaving the black spray paint visible underneath. I'm really happy with how this one turned out. So 
starting to decorate the boxes, I'm using these Dollar Tree stickers. You can see they have these adhesive strips going down the back, so they're all connected by a line. I just went in and painted them on the lower screen there, you can see. I started with a gray and a silver color. I, I do end up changing these as well, but you'll see that later. I just made sure to trim around the adhesive, leaving it on the back of the sticker. I knew I was going to have to go back and hot glue these, and I did. So I'm going to let you know that now if you use these and you want it to last, just hot glue the stickers on. And I used an X-Acto knife to trim up any of the excess glue that seeped out from underneath. And there we go, changing the color again. I wanted it to match the insects more, so I went in with that copper. To decorate the beetle box, I used the same green that I originally used on the beetle. At first I went in a little too light and then I did go in heavier. I love the way the green and the black look together just using this dry brush technique. And for the grasshoppers box, I went in with blue and purple. Again, the first time I did this, it was way too light. I ended up adding more paint after gluing the grasshopper on. You'll see it in a little bit. To decorate the spider box, I used my hot glue gun to create a web effect. This is probably my favorite out of all four of these. You just use the hot glue gun to create a little bead on one surface and drag the tail of glue to another side of the surface, creating this webbing effect. You can use the tip of the hot glue gun to kind of mess with your little bead of hot glue to make it stringier. Look how cool that looks, I love it. And for the fly, I just did black. Now two of my boxes, my Easter ones, did not have those cubes to lift the insects up. So I just broke apart some popsicle sticks and I glued four pieces together to create about the same height. Those will be holding up my beetle and my grasshopper. At first I did go in with the super glue that says it adheres in 15 seconds. I was using a mixture of the super glue and the hot glue. In the end, I just ended up using a ton of hot glue. It worked way better. Now when I glued the grasshopper on, the box was still very light in color. It was hard to see on camera, it was a little darker than it looks in this video, but I did go in with more paint. I used super glue here to glue down the legs, they were all over the place. I didn't have a problem with the top four legs, they adhered just fine, and I used paper towel to wipe away any excess super glue. The bottom legs, however, were not working with me, so I just let them be. Let me know in the comments below what you think about the green and the black on the beetle. I really like it. However, I really needed my projects to match, so I went in and did the backgrounds black again. 
and I go over the insects with copper and a little bit of black dry brushing so that all four pieces match. That's the beauty about DIY though, if you don't like something, even if you think your product is finished, you can still go back and change it and that's exactly what I did. I thought I was done, I was not happy, so I went back and fixed it and now I think it looks great. And here it is, the finished four faux taxidermy insect shadow box. I really, I don't know, what am I doing with this name here? Faux shadow box insect taxidermy hanging wall art. There's so many things I could call this video, I don't know. Let me know what you think though. If you did like this video or find it fun, please hit that like button. And if you subscribe and hit the bell notification, you'll be notified every Thursday when I release a new DIY spooky decor video. Thanks for watching guys. And remember, stay spooky.